Welcome back, everybody. It's been a few weeks since I filmed anything for my studio vlogs, but I finally have my room semi set up. It's at a place where I no longer feel like I'm living in a stranger's basement, which is good. And so I'm finally going to unbox my brand new figures. I also got my new pink grates for my Artist Alley setup. I had some extras, so I built shelves. So I'm gonna be putting all of my new figures on my cute pink shelf, and they're gonna look so good. And I also have to unbox all of my action figures from my entire collection. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of crazy, but I'm hoping that everything fits there and there on top of the top shelf from my bookshelf. I can't tell you how excited I am for these. These are all of the figures from the My Hero Academia World Missions movie with Rhodey Soul. And so I... They're so freaking cute. Can't wait to open them up. The Nendroids I'm most excited about because I don't have a Shoto or Deku Nendroid yet. And I'm really excited for the big figures, the statue figures, because they come with the little hood. I'm gonna put their little hoods on their little heads and Deku's gonna have bunny ears. So I'm just really excited to get these all unboxed and out. So I'm just gonna take them all out off camera and then show them off to you guys because I wanna enjoy this. I've been waiting to do this for months, dudes. I do actually want to talk about the boxes for a minute here because they're so cute. Oh my goodness, I think the black for the Nendroid boxes was so smart and so awesome. I remember when I opened a shipping box that it came in and I saw that the Nendroid boxes were black, I actually squealed. I was so freaking excited and it is really freaking exciting. So these boxes are a lot more simple, but there's nothing wrong with that. I actually really, really love the backgrounds. I think they did such a phenomenal job, like glowing behind them. They look like they're on some cool secret stealth mission. It makes me wish that the movie actually had the freaking stealth suits more because that's what I why I bought all these figures before the movie even came out because I was so excited for the costumes. Ugh, they look so good. I really like the boxes for these ones, especially because Masterly's doesn't really do very specialized boxes. It's just like a thick cardboard box to keep the figure from breaking. Simple as that, but but for these ones, I really like it. They must have someone new on marketing because I fucking love this split screen of like half with their faces, half with their hoods. I think it works really, really well. I think it looks really cute. The movie World Heroes Mission. Ah, oh, just like bolded in your face. It looks like an ad for perfume. And then, you know, this side, it's just the three of them together. Collect them all. And I did. And I can't wait to unbox them. So let's unbox these bad boys and then the Nendroids and let's look at everything. I'm gonna be honest, Bakugo actually surprised me a little bit. I really thought that I was going to prefer the head with his hood on, but I actually really love his facial expression and just the sculpt of his face with the non-hood design. It looks really nice. I think the sculpt is great, the paint job is great, his hair looks absolutely amazing, and I really like the way that the hood lies on the back of the neck. It just flows so nicely and looks so good, and the paint job is really, really nice. I think the pockets next to his boots look really nice. And there's this really gorgeous, subtle texture all over the costume. And I'm really, really glad that they added it. They even added it to his belt here. And of course the insignia on the side of, is of the shoulder. It's so perfect, it's so perfect. I think overall, the sculpt is amazing. Like I really can't express how much I love, love the wrinkles of his pants. It just looks so freaking good. I also really like how they darkened the knee pads, almost like he spray painted them over because they looked too bright with the design of the rest of the costume. And I like the fact that he has flash grenades instead of normal grenades. That's such a subtle, cute detail. And the silencers, the gauntlet silencers, so smart, so cool, Horikoshi. She, you are a design god.
The sculpt on the hood is also really cute. I like his facial expression. I like the fact that his hair looks like it's being flattened into a bowl. I think it's very sweet, very nice. I think the eyes are a tiny bit off, but I think that is, you know, a paint issue. And if you're looking at it from the right angle, you can't even really tell. I love the texture all over the hood. I think it looks really fantastic. It just adds so much, like this crosshatch pattern. It looks fireproof, which is fantastic for his quirk. And I think what I like best about this hood design is that you can see the parachute on the back of his costume and you can't see that when his hood is down because the hood is covering it. You can also see like the back muscles, more of the arm muscles, the, de the definition of where the folds in the costume lay around his waist. It looks fantastic, man. It looks really fantastic. Also, can we just notice the folds of the costume on the back of his elbows? I know that isn't a detail people are really paying much attention to, but I'm noticing it and I absolutely commend that. The hell out of the out of the team that designed him oh my goodness I think at first glance, Shoto's costume is a bit underwhelming compared to how epic Bakugo's was. Probably should have opened him first since, you know, his costume in general isn't nearly as flashy. But, you know, I do like it a lot. I just, I think the sculpt of his face also is, again, a bit underwhelming. His hair is a little big, if you get what I mean. He does have a bit more paint defects than Bakugo's does, uh, mostly on the parachute. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Something that I do like are the boots. I think that they're simple. You know, they're very Shoto, not super flashy. And I like the design on the knees. I think that the fireproof texture he has on his suit is very cool. I also love the gloves. I'm not sure how, but I'm pretty sure with the hood, I like this figure like 10 times more. I really like the layers to it. I think that it like makes the costume look so much cooler. It looks like the hood itself is detachable. I do think I prefer this Shoto with his hood. I think he looks really cute with the hood. I like that it's so high-waisted and everything. It's like a big turtleneck. He looks like he's wearing a trash can straight up, but it works somehow. I think, hands down, without a single doubt, Deku's costume is the absolute best. It's so good. It looks so amazing. The pose is so iconic. It looks so cute. He looks so good. I'm sorry that I'm not more articulate when it comes to figure reviews. I'm just really fucking excited for this guy. He looks phenomenal. Oh my fucking god, dude. What the fuck? The details on his boots are so good. Rising up the freaking thigh high boots, bro. I know they're just part of his main costume, but holy fuck. They look so good in the black version. This has got to be my favorite of the stealth suits. Just the thigh high black boots, the belt, the texture, the folds, the little green accents, the elbow pads, oh my goodness, and his hood. His hood is the best part. His little bunny ears angrily peeking at you, ready to destroy you. So cute, so perfect, so Deku, and his hair sculpt looks really phenomenal. His hair sculpt just looks really, really good. He's here, he is going to air compress the crap out of you. And also the texture on the back of his gloves. 
beautiful truly truly beautiful just look at that hair sculpt wow and the coloring all in all i think these are my favorite figures i've ever bought other than bakugo of course that is still number one og but these guys come pretty freaking close i love them love them love them love them i'm gonna put up a pink shell right above that one just for these guys so i can stare at them every day when i work so here is deku's box izuka midoriya stealth suit version. Very cute, very cute. I like the little blue bubble. I'm loving the black and the top is very nice. You can see how you can pose him. It's just a standard Nendroid box minus like the pop of black to make it like super unique and cute. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This dude is seriously so, 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 so cute. His little chubby cheeks, his little smile. This is my first Deku uh, little Nendroid dude. I adore him. Oh my god, how absolutely adorable. I'm gonna show you guys his different face plates and his different little hands. I'm actually kind of obsessed with this cute little adorable face and his cute little gloves. He looks so freaking cute. I think I might just leave him like this, you know, not add the next faceplate or anything. Just this is what Deku's going to look like, I guess. He's going to look cute as hell. A little adorable baby boy. Ooh. Also on the back, I don't know if you can see, but you can see his little head. Ah, oh, so cute. Cute little baby. And here's Bakugo's, Katsuki Bakugo's stealth suit version. Again, it's like same concept and everything. I am gonna put him in his mask because that is the cutest thing ever. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at all his different facial expressions, all his different cuteness. That one, I think, is gonna be super, super cute. Here's what Bakugo looks like straight out of the box. No additions, no changes, just him. And he's super cute as predicted. Who would have freaking guessed? Very cute, very nice. Just a mini version of all of the great things that I loved about the stealth suit. For some reason, it just looks so detailed. Like, I think this is the most detailed Nendroid that I have in my collection now. It's just all the little, all the little tiny circles and edges and X's and the little orange stripes. So cute, and he fits in the palm of your hand because he's a little doll. I love action figures. Here he is with the second face plate and a little bit of change to the hands. Very cute, he's here to explode you. He's gonna claw your eyes out with his nail little baby hands. Oh, he's so cute. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at figure reviews. I'm just gushing about how adorable he is. Oh my goodness. Here he is with his final faceplate and his little explosions have been silenced with his silencers. Very cute. Can I also say that these little orange dudes are really spiky and I definitely hurt myself trying to put them on his hands. It's so hard to get on, but he looks great. I like this faceplate, but I think I might just go with like the little angry disgruntled one because I think that's really cute and I don't have any of my Bakugo Nendroids with his little disgruntled face. So there he is added to the collection. Not quite as artsy as the last display of what he looks like, but I like him a lot. Very cute. And here's Shoto's. Again, very cute, very simple. Shoto to Todoroki stealth suit version. Here's the top. Very nice. I actually really like that facial expression. Oh, that's so cute! I just saw that. Oh my goodness, little baby. I think I'm gonna dress him in that one. That one's nice. I don't think we've gotten an angry face for any of the Shoto Nendroids yet. That's the standard version face, which I have for my other Shoto Nendroid. This dude is just a very standard little Shoto. Very cute. No one's disputing that fact, but you know, simple face plate. So I'm excited to see the new faces. I like this one. Very cute. He's got his little powers up. Angry little bean boy. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I feel like I have been making these little dolls for like three hours now. I've just been playing with their outfits and shit. And this review has just turned into me playing with dolls. It's just ridiculous. But I love action figures. He looks so cute. He looks amazing. I think this one has got to be my absolute favorite. He just looks so shocked. He's like, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, he's so cute. I don't, I don't even know what to say, man. Just, these are really cute figures. I'm so glad I got them. His little fingerless gloves are adorable. I love them. And Shoto Todoroki, he be, he be soft. He'd be cute as heck. This has been a little look at all of my new action figures. They are beautiful, they are gorgeous. I am obsessed with them. I'm really, really happy. I feel like the wait was worth it. I feel like cr it's Christmas. 
and I just got to open up all my Christmas presents. Figure collecting is an expensive hobby, but you know, if you save up your money and you, you know, really want, you really want these dudes, I think it is so worth it to get them. They're, they're just so perfect and wonderful and I love them. Thank you for watching, bye.